Alright guys, here goes the car. It's up and running. Um, this video I'm going to make, it's going to be, I don't know, it could be a 20 to 30 minute video from March when the car broke all the way to now. Today is December 8th. Uh, I put, I got the machine shot to put the motor back together and I dropped it in myself this time. But uh, it's running now. And uh, I got my gauges on this time. And I'm not sure when this video will be up. My oil pressure and oil temp gauge is the only one that's not working yet. But everything else is working. Car sounds good. Um, that's about it though. So I'll give you guys a pretty long video of everything that just happened with the car. But it's up and running now. Um, by the time this video is up, this car will be tuned. Right now it's on the old tune. Uh, it's going to be on E85. So as soon as this video is up, right after that will be the dyno video. Most likely I'm pretty far behind on my YouTube. But enjoy the video, guys. It's going to explain everything that went on with the car and till to the day. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. There will be tons of videos of racing, tons of videos of this car. So. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks guys. What's Got up, man? Out? Yeah, I'm sure I am, dude. I'm out. Oh, and I was like, hey, how are you? Hey. That car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> together come over to come look at the car and hear it he said it was most likely timing related something with cams something of that sort so he recommended it getting it towed back to the shop and when we pulled off the time the top timing cover piece we saw the o-rings that go into the cam phaser were all shredded so we replaced those and replaced the top timing cover piece and this is how the next startup went for the car Oh, that's right. So with that not fixing the problem, we just went ahead and decided to pull the motor, uh, tear it open, and see what exactly is going on, and to find out what the problem is.
Okay, here we're going to go through some uh, pictures of when uh, I pulled the motor out. Here you can see the flywheel. Something was wrong. It was basically welded itself to the crank. We had to torture it to expand it to get it off. And you can tell in that picture that it just it, it wasn't right. And then here in this picture, you can see pieces of the timing guide in the oil pickup. Um, and that's where we figured out that it's the timing guides that were the issue. That was my problem. So we're not sure if the head was decked too many times to cause that issue. Now it's on the 50 thousandths Comedic head gasket on the build now with it running right. But this was the issue there. You can see the timing guides are broken. It's crazy. One of the three bolts that hold the timing guides, it was bent. It was completely bent. So I don't know if it was an install issue or the head the head was milled too many times. There no explan no explanation of what exactly happened and what caused this problem. So after the car sat for a few months at the shop, I just decided that I was going to pull everything out of the shop and take everything to the machine shop myself and order the rest of the parts that I needed. And that's the route that I ended up taking with my car. So I had to tow my car out of the shop as well. Okay guys, finally got the beast home. Here it is. This is for several people that have not seen my car or even know that I own it. Here goes just a few parts of what I had in the car. The rest is at home. And here's uh, the best motor you can have. No motor. Hopefully two to three weeks it'll be back up and running. Hopefully. So in the meanwhile, while the motor was getting back together, I had to order a new uh, flywheel. This guy got the Fidanza flywheel. And then a competition clutch uh, stage 4 as well. And also a friend came by and installed my gauges. And in this picture, they're all wired up uh, with power, just not finished with the sensors. Coming up is uh, a picture of the motor. After I got it back from the machine shop, I uh, had to put it in the garage for a while until I had time to put it back into the car. Here are a few pictures of my progress when I was working on the car. Just I took some every so often. Figured I'd share that in the video as well. Here it is guys, car's pretty much done. Just basically needs fluid. And uh, the boost uh, vacuum lines and stuff like that have to get figured out tomorrow. But And the axles have to get put in tomorrow.
second start. guys the car is back on the road um it's been on the road for a while it's back home uh lots of videos to come there's been a lot that's been going on that i have to catch up on so stay tuned thanks guys and don't forget to subscribe and i will post more videos very soon thank you